good evening one and all. Uh, this is uh, Brian Ratchin with Family Ties Production bringing you the uh, regular season finale in Mississippi Athletic Conference Volleyball. It is the North Scott Lancers hosting Davenport Central here in the pit at North Scott High School in Eldridge. Uh, before we get uh, into the uh, introduction of the teams, we do want to talk real briefly about the uh, Region 8 uh, pairings. And what you will be seeing tonight is a preview of Monday's first round uh, Iowa Class 4A uh, regional contest. Northcott and Davenport Central. Uh, the Lancers going for third place in the conference here tonight. They have a record of six and two in Davenport Central right there with them in the league standings. We'll talk a little bit more about the uh, pairings here in a little bit. We do want to introduce Davenport Central. Uh, they are led in uh, uh, the the team by uh, Mackenzie Gillen, a senior who has 147 kills uh, on the season in 402 attempts, so, and she averages about two uh, kills per game, just a little bit more than that. And then uh, Claire Opar uh, has uh, 123 kills in 369 attempts, uh, and that averages out to just under two kills per game. Opar also is a leader for the uh, Blue Devils in uh, blocks with 82. Uh, that's 21 solo and 61 assisted, just over a block per game. Stephanie Kilmer uh, has uh, 89 kill, uh, digs. Uh, and uh, Kayleen Green has 82 digs on the season, but the leader for the Blue Devils is Kayla Holtz. Holtz has 100 even on the season coming into tonight's contest. Uh, serving wise, uh, they are about 90% on the serves um, uh, percentage. Uh, and uh, it's Claire Opar that has 25 ace serves on the year. And Mackenzie Gillen is deadly when it comes to serving. She has the team's highest uh, percentage uh, of uh, serve success with well over 96%. Right behind her, Stephanie Kilmer at uh, just over 92%. Kilmer and Gillen and Holtz and uh, are, they're all uh, seniors while Claire Opar and Kayleen Green, they're juniors. Now for North Scott. The Lancers, as I said, 6-2 and two on the year, and uh, th they have had quite a season under interim coach uh, Amy Schubert, the uh, former Dubuque Wallard standout who was on so many great teams up uh, in the uh, Dubuque area where they have outstanding volleyball year in and year out. Uh, it's uh, Emily Hermiston who uh, leads the team in kills with 182. That's uh, well over two kills per game. Uh, Carrie Keelan, she has 107 kills on the year, and she was uh, Keelan. She's the Lancers' only senior who is on a team chock full of talented sophomores. Keelan uh, honored here uh, this evening, uh, and uh, she will be one of the starters here tonight. But Keelan, 107 kills, just over a kill and a half per game. Uh, Ashley Chevillian is the uh, block's leader with 100 on the season. Coming into tonight, that's just over a block and a half per game. Uh, Diggs, it's Anna Buffelli with 224. Uh, 224 Diggs. She's the team's libero, and she uh, does a great job uh, with uh, just under three digs per game. Hannah Lindemann, the uh, assist leader, with 423. Uh, and then uh, serving-wise, Ashley Chevillian, she has moved into the uh, lead uh, when it comes to serve success for the Lancers. 90 uh, and a half percent on the season, but Hannah Lindemann remains the uh, team leader when it comes to uh, uh, serve success. Uh, 
uh, or Ace Sirs rather, with uh, 49 on the season. Uh, Lancers as a team serving 87.3%. Uh, just uh, looking over the uh, uh, rest of the uh, Region 8 rankings, uh, pairings rather, uh, as I said, North Scott, Denport Central, beating on Monday, October 25th uh, at George Edward Marshall Gym. The winner will uh, play, and they will play Cedar Rapids Xavier, Xavier, uh, the Saints of Cedar Rapids, ranked sixth in the uh, final Iowa Girls High School Athletic Associate, uh, Union poll. On the other half of the bracket, it's Muscatine and Burlington with second-ranked Iowa City High on the uh, weight and the winner of the uh, Muskies and Greyhounds. And then, of course, uh, the uh, uh, semifinals are Thursday, October 28th at Iowa City or Cedar Rapids. And then Tuesday night, November 2nd, that's at Cedar Rapids, a state volleyball tournament berth is on the line. For those of you who are following some of the other teams in the MAC, uh, the first round pairings in Region 7, Davenport West and Clinton meeting in a first round game with Linmar playing the winner in the semifinal. And then D Davenport North and Pleasant Valley will meet in the other first round game with the winner earning a shot at Bettendorf. Bettendorf, the uh, fourth ranked team in Iowa Girls Class 4A. And uh, Pleasant Valley ranked 12, so there should be a barn burner there if uh, Pleasant Valley and Bettendorf meet in the semifinal. The uh, final, Tuesday, November 2nd, will be at Tipton. So that will do it for the uh, pregame. We do want, as always, to uh, uh, thank everybody for uh, watching this uh, contest. And we will be right back with the uh, starting lineups. Shade Master Nursery, your first choice for trees, shrubs, flowers, mulch, bagged soils, and bedding plants. Large trees in ground available for late fall planting. We have a large selection of trees including red maples, birch, crab apples, oaks, evergreens, locusts, lindens, red buds, and sugar maples. Christmas trees and wreaths will be arriving in November. We are located in Davenport at 4401 West 90th Street. Give us a call at 563-391-4510. As a football player, I was crushed when a high school injury nearly took me out of the game forever. I knew I wanted football to be my life, and I had to do everything possible to make it happen. The solution for me was Plaza Physical Therapy. Now I've gone on to play football at the college level and even won two bowl games. Thanks to Plaza Physical Therapy for giving me a second chance at the sport I love. Plaza Physical Therapy Davenport and North Scott Physical Therapy Eldridge. Come check out the scariest haunted house in the Quad Cities. The Haunted Grandstand at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds. $12 to get in or bring in a flyer and get $1 off. Fridays and Saturdays from 7 p.m. until midnight and Sundays from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. The Haunted Grandstand brought to you by Halloween Express and Happy Joe's. Hop on in to the Lucky Frog in McCausland. Stop in for nightly specials or to order from a complete menu of appetizers, specialty pizzas, wings, sandwiches, and much more. The Lucky Frog offers carry-out orders and deliveries in northern Scott County. We're located at 313 North Salina Street in McCausland. Give us a call today at 563-225-FROG. That's 563-225-3764.
our sponsors. Family Ties Production wants to thank all the sponsors who have helped support our broadcast all season long, and we do have a hearty word of thanks to each and every one of them. John Moore Photography of Bettendorf, Jess Car Corner of Davenport, Stone's Apple Barn of East Moline, Rookies and Jersey Grill, uh, that's, they're both at Davenport, Lucky Frog of McCausland, North Scott Physical Therapy and Plaza Physical Therapy of Elders in Davenport, the Shade Master Nursery of Davenport, Nickelberry's Pizza right here in Eldridge, Taco John's, uh, two locations, North Park Mall, and 2816 West Locust Street in Davenport, Commercial Printers, Tea Garden Pet Salon, KALA-FM, and the Haunted Grandstand over at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds in uh, Davenport. And of course, that runs right through uh, Thanksgiving. So again, uh, we want to thank you uh, for advertising with us all season long, sponsoring our broadcast. And of course, if you uh, want to uh, advertise uh, and uh, give all the uh, fine athletes in the Mississippi Athletic Conference your support, please, uh, by all means, give us a call. Uh, we're underway here. Central had the first serve there, number two, Mackenzie Gilland. And uh, we have a kill attempt there by number 10, Stephanie Kilmer, but North Scott received it there. Almost on the ground, but Central able to get her over. Kill attempt there by Keelan, but it was off. Uh, the block was out of bounds by Davenport Central, and it is going to be North Scott's ball. One nothing North Scott. We have a substitution uh, as uh, Casey Kellenberger checked in. Hannah Lindemann to serve for the Lancers. The Lancers up one nothing. Kill attempt there, but a nice block by Davenport Central, and they will have the ball back. Substitution, we have number 12, Claire Opar in for the libero of Davenport Central, Kayla Holtz. Of course, you can tell the uh, liberos by the uh, color of uniforms they are wearing. We'll explain that here in a second as Alyssa Scott for the Blue Devils just served. Scott takes the reception, set there by Kayleen Green, gets it over. North Scott tried to chase it down and it went out of bounds. It is 2-1 Davenport Central. Scott back to serve. Anyway, uh, the uh, it all depends on the color of the uniform. It contrasts with the rest of the uh, players there. Central, an error at the net, and uh, it will be uh, tied at two. Couple substitutions, Allie Hammerling checks in for uh, the uh, Blue Devils uh, checking in for Norris Scott, Aaron Mead, and uh, Emily Hermiston. It looks like Aaron Mead is back to serve for the uh, Lancers. And uh, Central not able to quite get a hold of that serve. And it's 3 2 Dab or Norris Scott ahead of Davenport Central. Mead. Across. Set there by Emma Connor and kill from the back row. Doesn't quite work out. 4 2 Davenport Central, or North Scott rather. Getting the teams confused here. Aaron Mead gets it across. The service long, and it will be Davenport Central ball. 4 3. And we have the side out as Emma Connor will serve it up. Connor gets it across, and it's on the ground, and we're tied at four. <coughs> Connor gets it across. Set there by Lindemann. Kill attempt by Hermiston, and it's good. It's on the ground, and it's North Scott side out, 5-4, as Kerry Gollinghorse checks back in for the uh, Lancers. Ashley Shabillion will serve. Shabillion gets it across. 
but the Blue Devils respond. Kellenberger with a kill attempt, but it's fielded by the uh, Blue Devils. And the kill attempt goes long, just long. Of course, the uh, line judges uh, tonight, Larry Schroeder and Jason Schroeder, the uh, basketball coaches for the girls' Lancer team. Lancers had a successful serve. We had a kill there. I believe it was Kayleen Green or Stephanie Kilmer. Didn't quite catch it. Uh, we had a substitution for Norris Scott. Didn't quite catch who it was. But in any event, Stephanie Kilmer is in. 6-5. Norris Scott in the lead by one. Kill attempt there. And it is off Davenport Central. Emily Hermitson's kill attempt. So it's 7-5. And North Scott side out. Emily Soy relieving Kallenberger for the Lancers. Soy gets it across. Fielded by Hammerling for the Blue Devils. It's on the ground on the Blue Devils side of the court. And it is 8-5. North Scott getting an early jump on the Blue Devils. As Soy gets it across. Set there by Green. And a kill attempt that goes out of bounds. Claire Opar just couldn't quite get the angle on it that she wanted. And it's 9-5, North Scott. Soy across, and it goes up out of bounds. Substitution, Alyssa Scott relieving Allie Hammerlink. Not quite sure what relation she has to the uh, Senator, uh, State Senator Sean Hammerlink. Uh, anyway, it was Claire Opar serving it up, and a kill by the Blue Devils. Looks like maybe number two, Mackenzie Gilland, had it. 9 7. North Scott by two. As Opar gets it across for the Blue Devils. And a kill attempt there by Hermison. Again, she couldn't get the angle she wanted, and it's out of bounds. 9 8. Blue Devils are within one. Feel it by Buffelli, but Lancers get it across. Hermiston, and that is a kill. Emily Hermiston, so it's North Scott side out, 10 8. Substitutions uh, Abby Curling and uh, Carrie Keelan check in. And it's going to be curling. <coughs> One of the few juniors in the regular rotation for the Lancers. She got it across. Blue Devils looked like they had trouble feeling it at first, but were able to get it across. But just the same, Carrie Gallinghorse gets a kill. 11 to 8. North Scott by three. Curling to serve for the Lancers. And it goes out of bounds. In case I didn't mention it before, uh, Larry Schroeder, the uh, coach of the uh, girls' uh, basketball program, has uh, looked like uh, Emma O'Connor checked in for the uh, Blue Devils. Blue Devils serve, 11-9 to score, and we have a net violation by the uh, Blue Devils, and the Lancers get it back, 12-9, as Buffelli, Anna Buffelli will serve it up for the Lancers. Pushed across there by Mackenzie Gilland. Kill it, a nice block there by the Blue Devils. Set up there by 22 and 7, 22 Emma O'Connor and 7 Alyssa Scott for the Blue Devils. And it's 12-10. Looks like it's the Blue Devils side out. And it is. Mackenzie Gilland gets it across. Fielded by Soy for the Lancers. And uh, well, we have a net violation by the uh, Blue Devils on the kill attempt by Shabillion. And a substitution 
Casey Kallenberger checks in for Emily Soy. 13-10 the score. North Scott by three. As Hannah Lindemann will serve it across and that will be an ace serve. As the Blue Devils just not able to get uh, the feel of the ball on the serve reception. So it's 14 to 10. Lancers in front. They've been leading just about the whole way. As Lindemann's serve goes across. And the Blue Devils push it back across. Buffelli gets it across for the Lancers. Pushed across by Kilmer. Kill attempt there by Kallenberger, but it's fielded by the Blue Devils. Pushed across by Green for the Blue Devils. And a kill attempt by Keelan, but it's once again fielded by the Blue Devils. And into the net, and finally, a nice block there. Set up by Ashley Shabillion and Casey Kallenberger. And Amber Hall, the coach for the uh, Blue Devils, has seen enough. We'll take a timeout. We'll be right back. Come experience the bold West Mex flavor of Taco John's. Their recipes include hearty helpings of seasoned meats, crispy potato olays, and flavorful cheeses with fresh made Mexican specialties like burritos, tacos, and quesadillas. And don't forget to join us for breakfast. Whatever you order, you can be sure it's good food made right. Visit us at one of our two locations in Davenport on West Locust Street and West Kimberly Road just inside of North Park Mall. Come see us at the Tea Garden Pet Salon and School for all of your pet grooming needs. Also ask about enrollment in our in-house grooming school. We are open Monday through Saturday from 7.30 a.m. till 4 p.m. Come see us at 2367 Cumberland Square in Bettendorf, Iowa, or give us a call at 563-359-PETS. Nickel Berry's Pizza, located in Eldridge, Iowa, is a locally owned and operated business that has proudly served the North Scott community for over 17 years. We are committed to serving you the best possible product at the best possible price. So come on down and dine with us today. We look forward to seeing you. Nickel Berry's Pizza, quality taste, located at 1084 East LeClaire Road in Eldridge. Commercial Printers has been your one-stop printing service since 1991. We offer general printing services along with printing banners, signage, and much more. Give us a call today or visit us online at commercialprintersusa.com. Okay, Lancers with the ball, the side out, and Hannah Lindemann to serve 15 10 North Scott. She gets it across, is pushed across there by Alyssa Scott. Kellenberger, no, nice block. Well, they're calling it a net violation, but there was a nice block set up there by the Blue Devils. So it probably would have been the Blue Devils' point anyway, and side out, 15 to 11. And we didn't catch substitutions there, but Alyssa Scott, just the same, will serve it up for the Blue Devils as Kallenberger gets it across. Scott fields it for the Devils. Pushed across there, Kilmer. A dink, nope, it was a lift violation. Almost spoke too soon. 15-12. North Scott, still in front by three, as Scott will serve it up for the Devils. And a net violation by the uh, Blue Devils. And we have a substitution, Ali Hammerlink for the Blue Devils. For North Scott, Aaron Mead checks in, 
as does Emily Hermiston. Keelan and Curling check out. And it looks like we'll be reminded who's serving now. Number six, Aaron Mead. And the nice block there by the Lancers. Looked like uh, Hermiston and Shabillion were in on that. 17-12. North Scott leading pretty much the whole way here as Meade gets it across and that is an ace serve. Blue Devils fooled thinking that it was going to go out of bounds and it was just inside bounds there. So 18-12. Your score. North Scott by six. It's their biggest lead of the game. Nice kill attempt there by Claire Opar, and it was, <laughs> nope. It's gonna be uh, Lancer's point, and we're gonna take a quick time out, 19 to 12. Amber Hall wants to talk about it with her team. We'll be right back. Okay, we're ready. To go back into uh, live action here as uh, Aaron Mead will serve it up. 19-12 your score in game number one. North Scott up by seven. Mead gets it across. Chased down by the Blue Devils, but it's gonna go out of bounds. They had no chance to catch that. Although there was some nice hustle there. 20-12. Aaron Mead, once again, doing the serving for the Lancers. Kind of a slight jump serve there, and that's almost gonna go out of bounds. Blue Devils able to get that across, and credit number 20, Kayleen Green with the point. And the Blue Devils finally have a side out. 20 to 13, the score. Lancers by seven, as number 22, Emma O'Connor served it up. Kill attempt there by and oh, I guess you can call it a kill as the Blue Devils uh, just had no chance of uh, recovering the ball there. Uh, Ashley Shabillion will uh, credit with the uh, kill. We had a couple substitutions, didn't catch. They were for the Lancers as Shabillion gets it across. 21-13 to score. Almost a stop block there by Calling Horse and Kallenberger, 22 to 13. North Scott looking like they might get game number one here. As Shabillion serves it, nope, in the net. Perhaps they spoke too soon. 22 to 14 as it's Blue Devil side out. North Scott still leading by eight. Number 10, Stephanie Kilmer will serve it up. Well, they could have let that go out of bounds, but Lancers get her across. Hanton and Lindemann. Set. And a nice spike there. A spike kill by Casey Kallenberger. 23 to 14. And she uh, will come out. Emily Soil come back in. Again, the Blue Devils in danger of dropping game one. As Emily Soy will get her across. Fielded by the Blue Devils. Kill attempt there. And Mackenzie Gillen connects. 23 to 15. Blue Devils side out. Substitution. Alyssa Scott in for Abby Hammerlink. As Claire Opar is back to serve for the Blue Devils. A thundering kill there by Miss Alyssa Scott. Just waiting for that one, and she put it down with authority. We had the libero checking in for the Blue Devils. Kayla Holtz, 23-16. Your score as the serve goes into the net. Curling and uh, Keelan will check in. Relieving Mead and uh, Mead and Hermiston for the Lancers. Curling is back. 
24 to 16, game point. It just kind of snuck up on me there as almost a stop block there. And a nice kill there off the block attempt. Credit that to Alyssa Scott for the Blue Devils. They're still alive. Substitution. Number 22, Emmy, Emma O'Connor checking in for number nine, Corrine Fangman. 20, uh, Kayleen Green had the serve. And uh, Blue Devils still in it. Mackenzie Gillen once again with the kill off the block attempt. They're not going to go down easy here. And uh, we're going to take a quick timeout as uh, Coach Schubert wants to rally the troops. We'll be right back. 24-18, your score. Okay, 24-18, Norscott is leading by six. But the Blue Devils are serving. Kayleen Green gets it across. Lindemann sets it up. Keelan with the kill. Showing her senior leadership, and that is game one. Norscott wins game one, 25-18. And we will be right back with game number two. Jeff's Car Corner, look for the logo. Jeff's Car Corner, your winner of the 2009 and 2010 Quad City Times Reader's Choice Award for the best used car dealership. Look for our logo at your next stop. Wherever you look, you'll see why thousands of people have enjoyed our selection, service, and quality. Low overhead, low prices, and great service make Jeff's Car Corner your number one choice for your next vehicle. Same owner, same corner for over 30 years. Jeff's Car Corner at the corner of 4th and Division in Davenport. KALA Davenport, the public radio station from St. Ambrose University, is proud to offer insightful programs from Public Radio International. Get your weekday morning started with The Takeaway. Then in the evening, tune into The World. And on Mondays, be sure to catch the Tavis Smiley Show, keeping you informed wherever you may be. Just part of the new lineup at KALA Davenport, public radio station from St. Ambrose University. Jersey Grill. Come enjoy our full menu of pizza, steaks, seafood, and sandwiches. Enjoy the game on one of our 30 flat screen TVs with Major League Baseball, NFL football, and college sports coverage. Party and banquet rooms are available with catering. Jersey Grill, where great food, families, and sports come together. We're located at 5255 Jersey Ridge Road in Davenport. Give us a call at 563-344-4747. Rookie's Sports Bar and Grill. Rookie's has received numerous Quad City Times Reader's Choice Awards, including Best Pizza and Best Sports Grill. We have 33 TVs with Major League Baseball, NFL, football, and college sports. The best pizza in the Quad Cities is right here at Rookie's. Come tailgate with us today. Rookie's Sports Grill, located at 2818 Brady Street, Davenport. Give us a call at 563-324-2434. We're just about ready to start game number two here. Norscott is on the uh, floor, and Blue Devils uh, making their final adjustments there. As Norscott will have the first serve, it will be uh, Anna Buffelli doing the first serving. Norscott winning game one fairly uh, convincingly. And Buffelli gets it across, we're underway. Blue Devils looked like they had trouble fielding the serve, but are able to get it across. And the kill attempt, nice job there by Ashley Shabillion. Game's, uh, game two's first point goes to North Scott. As Buffelli gets ready and gets it across. Oh, barely, and that's an ace serve, two nothing. Now remember, these two teams face off in round number one of the uh, Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union's uh, Class 4A tournament. So all this game will count in are the regular season standings as Norscott 
unable to uh, control the uh, pass, and it's Blue Devils side out, two to one. First server for the uh, Blue Devils in this game, Mackenzie Gillen, gets it across. Kill attempt there, nope. Nice block by the, the Blue Devils. Looked like it was set up by Stephanie Kilmer and Alyssa Scott. Kilmer number 10, seven, Scott. Gillen gets it across. Set there by Lindemann for the Lancers. Blue Devils push it across. Lancers get it across finally. Scott with the kill, no. Fielded nicely by Buffelli, but really couldn't get a good angle in the pass and Lancers really didn't have a chance to get it across. It's three to two. Blue Devils are up by, two, uh, by a point as Gillen gets it across. And it's on the floor. Yeah, no, there's a net violation. Central coach say no, no. That was a genuine kill, but the referee not making a move. Substitution by uh, the Lancers. Uh, it looked like Kellenberger came in as Anna, or Hannah Lindemann served it up. Nice block there at the net. Kerry Keelan, Ashley Sebelian, 4-3 the score, North Scott. In control here, early in game number two. Lindemann gets it across, and uh, that is an ace serve, as it looked like the libero had a little bit of trouble uh, fielding the uh, serve. And it went right out of bounds. 5-3 the score. A jump serve by the little gal, Miss uh, Lindemann, and that's ace serve number two. As once again, the Blue Devils having a little control, uh, passing control problems here. But we'll see if they can get that short up as Lindemann gets it across. Kill attempt there, and that is a nice kill by Stephanie Kilmer of the Blue Devils. 6-4 the score, as it is Blue Devils side out. Looks like Alyssa Scott will be back to serve. Scott gets it across as Buffelli fields it. Kill attempt there, nope. Net violation. It's Blue Devils point, 6-5 the score. Lancers still have a one point lead as Alyssa Scott gets it across. Lindemann with the setup for the Lancers. Kellenberger, and that is a long kill attempt. And the score is tied at six. <coughs> Scott to serve for the Blue Devils, gets it across. Lindemann sets it up for the Lancers. Kill attempt by Killen, and that is a kill. Off the attempted Blue Devil block. Substitutions. Allie Hammerling for the Blue Devils. And for the Lancers, it's, uh, we always have to look. Uh, Aaron Mead and uh, Emily Hermiston. Mead will be back to serve as the Lancers are up by a point, seven to six. Mead across, fielded by the Blue Devils. O'Connor gets it across for the Devils. Kill attempt there by Kellenberger, but Fielded by the Lancers. And uh, we have a violation there at the net, and it looks like the Blue Devils have the point, seven to seven. Emma O'Connor to serve for the uh, Devils. Gets it across. Lindemann sets it up. Kill, nice job there by Miss Ashley Chabillion. And in is Kerry Gollinghorse checking in for the Blue Devils. Kareen Fangman back to serve for the Lancers. Number 13, Ashley Chabillion. It goes out of bounds. And uh, Anna Buffelli will check back in. 
Stephanie Kilmer to uh, serve it up. Kill attempt there, no, nice block by the Lancers. And they're able to get across, but the Blue Devils respond. Oh, uh, we have uh, some uh, Lancer hit the uh, antenna there. That is a no-no, and the Blue Devils are up by one. It had been tied at eight, but the Blue Devils gets the point. Nine to eight as Kilmer serves it up for the Blue Devils. And it's blocked right back. 12 and two sets it up. Claire Opar and Mackenzie Gillen, that's who the numbers correspond to. Opar 12, Gillen number two is Kilmer will serve it up. 10-8. The score, Blue Devils of Davenport Central, kill attempt. And that is a kill. Emily Hermiston. 10 9. Davenport Central up as Emily Soy checks in and will serve. Hermiston across. Fielded by the Blue Devils. And a long kill attempt. And once again, we have a tie score at 10. Soy. Oh, nope, that is in the net. As soon as it left her hand, uh, you could tell that that had no chance of going anywhere but in the lower reaches of the net. Had a substitution as I believe Scott came back in. 12 serving for the Blue Devils, Claire Opar. Buffelli gets it across for the Lancers. Kill there, no, nice block by the Lancers. As they get her across, Lindemann sets it up. And Hermiston with the, oh no, nice recovery there by Kayleen Green of the Blue Devils. Lindemann swats it over. Nice exchange of volleys here. Scott, no, off of the hands of Aaron Mead, and it's Blue Devils ball. 12-10, the score. Lancers trail by two as Claire Opar will serve it up. Opar gets it across. Nope. Gets it across, does Lindemann. Lindemann pushes it across, and it's out of bounds. 10 to, or 13 to 10. Davenport Central by three. Extended rally here going on as Claire Opar serving the uh, Blue Devils up to a win here. Uh, a nice lead. Blocked at the net there. Seven and two. Mackenzie Gillen and Alyssa Scott. North Scott's going to take a timeout and regroup. 14 10, Blue Devils of Davenport Central. We'll be right back. Come to Stone's Apple Barn today and you can pick your own apples until they're gone. We carry honey, peaches, pears, cashew crunch, Indian corn, gourds, caramel apples, and fresh cider. We also have hay rack rides on weekends. We are located at 16115 Hubbard Road in East Moline, Illinois. We are open seven days a week from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Give us a call at 309-496-2318. As a football player, I was crushed when a high school injury nearly took me out of the game forever. I knew I wanted football to be my life, and I had to do everything possible to make it happen. The solution for me was Plaza Physical Therapy. Now I've gone on to play football at the college level and even won two bowl games. Thanks to Plaza Physical Therapy for giving me a second chance at the sport I love. Plaza Physical Therapy Davenport and North Scott Physical Therapy Eldridge. Come check out the scariest haunted house in the Quad Cities. The Haunted Grandstand at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds. $12 to get in or bring in a flyer and get $1 off. 
Fridays and Saturdays from 7 p.m. until midnight, and Sundays from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. The Haunted Grandstand, brought to you by Halloween Express and Happy Joe's. Hop on in to the Lucky Frog in McCausland. Stop in for nightly specials or to order from a complete menu of appetizers, specialty pizzas, wings, sandwiches, and much more. The Lucky Frog offers carryout orders and deliveries in northern Scott County. We're located at 313 North Salina Street in McCausland. Give us a call today at 563-225-FROG. That's 563-225-3764. Blue Devils on a run here as uh, the Lancers uh, unable to uh, get it across. So that will go down as an ace serve by Claire Opar of the uh, Blue Devils. 15 10 the score. Davenport Central leading by five. Across. And into the net almost. Nope. Pushed across there by Mead of the Lancers. Scott Nold, nice. Blocked there by Keelan. No, to take that back. That is not Keelan. Carrie Gollinghorse. And uh, she was in on the uh, point there as the Lancers finally get the ball back. 15 to 11. Abby Curling and uh, uh, Emily Hermiston check in for the Lancers. Curling to serve it up. No, in the net. Lancers have had a couple of those, uh, serving not exactly the uh, strong suit here down the stretch. Uh, Emma O'Connor checking in to relieve uh, Corrine Fangman as Kayleen Green serves it up. 16-11 the score. Uh, Blue Devils up by six. Well, they were up by five, now it's six, as it's 17-11 as there was a nice kilder at the net, didn't quite see who had that, but just the same, it's Davenport Central. And things starting to fall apart for the North Scott, as that was an ace serve by Kayleen Green. Green gets it across for the Blue Devils. Across by Gollinghorse, and we have a violation. And now the Lancers want to get going here. 18 12, uh, Davenport Central is up. We had a substitution as uh, Abby or Annie Buffelli will serve up an ace serve. 18 13, just before we were hearing uh, Coach Amy Schubert of the uh, Lancers exhorting her team, let's go now. And maybe the Lancers are going to heed their advice. As Shabillion gets a kill. 18 to 14. The Blue Devil lead has been cut to four. As Anna Buffelli gets it across. I know I called her Annie before, but it seems they like that kill. There, no, a net violation. Woo. Looks like that was a clean kill to me by Ashley Shabillion, but. Just the same, it is Davenport Central side out and point, 19 to 14. Davenport Central by five is Gillen gets it across. Shabillion gets it across, and that's on the floor. So credit her with the uh, long, slow kill. 19 to 15 the score as Casey Kellenberger checks in. And little Hannah Lindemann will serve it up. Kill attempt there. Uh, kill her, nope. Lancers able to field it. Kallenberger gets it across for the Lancers. Civilian, oh, long kill. That went long. And it's 20 to 15. Let's see what's going on here. I guess the point that was a uh, 
kill after all by the Lancers. As we saw the libero check back in for the Blue Devils, Kayla Holst. So it's 19 to 16. Blue Devils only up by three now. Well, hold on, yep. It is 19 to 16. North Scott by three as Lindemann gets it across. Nice block there at the net. 10 and 13, that's Kerry Keelan and Ashley Sabillion. Keelan 10 and Sabillion 13. 19 to 17, Lancers are rallying and only trail by two now as Laurel Lindemann gets it across. O'Connor, nope. Long kill, out of bounds. Nope, but we have a violation, I guess, by the Lancers, and that will end the uh, side out for the Lancers. Blue Devils had the ball now, as Alyssa Scott will serve it up. 20 to 17 the score. Keelan gets it across, nope, a kill out of bounds. 21 to 17. So just when he thought North Scott was going to try to uh, maybe get back in the game, Central reasserting itself, and that's an ace serve by Miss Scott, and that's going to prompt a North Scott timeout, 22 to 17. Central by five. We'll be right back. Okay. Alyssa Scott serving it up for Davenport Central. Central leading 22 to 17 as the serve goes long and North Scott will get the ball back finally. 22-18, Davenport Central. We had a, a substitution, looked like Hammerlink for the uh, Blue Devils. And for North Scott, Emily Hermiston, Aaron Mead. Mead will serve it up. Way it's looking right now, this could go at least four sets. O'Connor gets it across. No long ki kill attempt. And it's 22 19. North got trailing by three. Or Central leading by three, depending on how you look at things. Oh, it didn't look like Central was going to get it across, but they did. And Shabini, nope. Man, uh, Blue Devils able to get her across. Hermiston, no! And we have a net violation. Or you could call it a block. Out of the way, it is Stamport Central side out, 23 to 19. Looks like uh, Claire Opar right next to the net to try to go for the block. O'Connor to serve it up. Once again, Blue Devils leading by four as Hermiston got it across, long kill by the Blue Devils, and it's North Scott's side out once again. Substitutions look like uh, Gollinghorse for the Lancers and Fangman for the uh, Blue Devils. Shabillion serves. Kill attempt there by Gillen, but it's taken by the Lancers. Nice kill attempt there by Kallenberger, but Blue Devils responding kind. And a long kill attempt, and it remains North Scott's ball, 23-21. North Scott within two, and Davenport Central wants to take a timeout, and uh, we will be right back after this. Okay, North Scott in control here, 23-21. Blue Devils by two, but North Scott with the Side out as there's a block attempt there. Oh, dink by the Lancers. Just some real light touches by both teams there as the kill attempt goes out of bounds after all that. Emily Hermiston tried to look for the perfect spot and Coach Schubert talks to the referee. Thinks it should have been in bounds, but it's going to remain Blue Devils point and it's game point 21 24. The kill attempt out of bounds and North Scott gets it back. They're going to stay alive 
22. Uh, Davenport Central up by two. As Emily Soy will try to keep the Lancers alive. She comes in for Kallenberger. Soy, the sophomore. And a block by the Lancers. Oh, couple kill attempts there by Gillen, but Lancers taking each one of them. Gillen, nope, third time's the charm. 25-22, that's gonna do it for game number two. Davenport Central ties it up at one game apiece, and we will be back with game number three. Shade Master Nursery, your first choice for trees, shrubs, flowers, mulch, bagged soils, and bedding plants. Large trees in ground available for late fall planting. We have a large selection of trees including red maples, birch, crab apples, oaks, evergreens, locusts, lindens, red buds, and sugar maples. Christmas trees and wreaths will be arriving in November. We are located in Davenport at 4401 West 90th Street. Give us a call at 563-391-4510. Jeff's Car Corner, look for the logo. Jeff's Car Corner, your winner of the 2009 and 2010 Quad City Times Reader's Choice Award for the best used car dealership. Look for our logo at your next stop. Wherever you look, you'll see why thousands of people have enjoyed our selection, service, and quality. Low overhead, low prices, and great service make Jeff's Car Corner your number one choice for your next vehicle. Same owner, same corner for over 30 years. Jeff's Car Corner, at the corner of 4th and Division in Davenport. KALA Davenport, the public radio station from St. Ambrose University, is proud to offer insightful programs from Public Radio International. Get your weekday morning started with The Takeaway. Then in the evening, tune into The World. And on Mondays, be sure to catch The Tavis Smiley Show, keeping you informed wherever you may be. Just part of the new lineup at KALA Davenport, public radio station from St. Ambrose University. Game number three about to be, uh, begin here in the pit. North Scout winning game number one, 25-18, but Davenport Central coming back, 25-22. Same starters for both sides as the libero for the Lan uh, Lancers is on the court. And we'll see how it starts here for Davenport Central as they will uh, take the first serve. Here to start game number two, three rather. <laughs> Almost lost track of the number of games there. McGillan, Mackenzie Gillen with the first serve. And we have a uh, net violation by the Lance, or Blue Devils rather. And it's one nothing, right out of the gate. Little Hannah and Lindemann to serve up as Casey Kallenberger checks in to replace Soy. Lindemann gets it across, taken by the Blue Devils. Oh, on the ground there, not able to anticipate. And that is a mistake you don't want to make. It's two nothing, Scott. Lenneman across, taken by the Devils. Scott pushed it across for the land, uh, Blue Devils. Chabillion set, and there's the kill attempt by Emma O'Connor, but Lancers keep, get control once again. Another kill attempt by O'Connor, and a kill looked like uh, maybe uh, Kallenberger with the kill, and it's three nothing. North Scott scoring three points, bing, bang, boom. Lindemann across, set, and a <coughs> kill attempt there, excuse me. The kill attempt goes out of bounds, and it's four nothing. North Scott piling up the points here early in game number three is uh, Lindemann. Punch to the cross. 
And Scott just kind of puts it across for the Blue Devils. Another kill attempt, nope. Blue Devils chase it down, and that goes out of bounds. Nice anticipation there by uh, Miss uh, Abby Curling. And uh, we're gonna take an early timeout. Five nothing to score, North Scott. And we will be right back. Okay, we're ready here. Lancers have uh, reeled off five straight points to open this uh, third game. And the serve goes into the net and Davenport Central has its first point. Substitution, Claire Opar relieving the libero. He had a holds for the Blue Devils as Alyssa Scott pushed it across the serve. The uh, kill attempt off of the uh, Blue Devil block goes out of bounds and it's 6 1. North Scott by five as Aaron Mead will serve it up. Mead across, and that's an ace serve again, not able to anticipate. That is just a mistake you can't make. Not anticipating where the uh, server is going to land. And Mead gets herself an easy A serve. And again, a bad pass. Devon Ward Central is going to have to get it together here, or else they're going to be blown out here in game number three. Eight to one to score as Aaron Mead will be serving it up. Gets it across. And again, another bad pass there. You hate to talk negatively, but sometimes when uh, you make a mistake, it just tends to snowball, and it's, it has for Davenport Central. Meade serving it up, nine to one the score. Across. Set by Lindemann, kill attempt there. That's a kill by Casey Kallenberger. 10 to 1 the score. North Scott able to score at will here in the early going of game three. As Meade gets it across. Set and a kill attempt there. That is a kill by Claire Opar. And Davenport Central finally gets the ball back. A pair of 5-1 uh, runs by Davenport or North Scott has built a 10-2 lead here as Emma O'Connor serves it up for the Devils and a nice block there. There's two points in a row and you can credit Claire Opar and Kayleen Green for the uh, Blue Devils for getting that point. And the Lancers have to chase that one down and can't. It's 10 to four, North Damport Central, <laughs> excuse me, has uh, served, given up the last three points. 10-4 to score. Lancers in front by six. Kill attempt there, nice shot there by Emily Hermiston. And a substitution, Kerry Gollinghorse checks in for the Lancers. Kareen Fangman for the uh, Blue Devils. We're leaving Emma O'Connor. And back to uh, serve is Ashley Sabillion for the Lancers. And uh, an A serve. Lancers are coming up aces. To get many more aces, they're gonna win big at one of the casinos around here. <laughs> Blue Devils have to chase that one down, and Blue Devils able to get it across anyway. Kayleen Green just kind of poked, uh, hit it across. Not really a kill, not really a bona fide hit, just hoping to keep the ball in play, and it went across, and the Lancers 
not able to chase it down. Side out, Blue Devils as Kilmer served it up on that violation, and it's going to go right back to the, uh, the Lancers, 13 to 5. Your score is Emily Soy will check in. To relieve Kallenberger, she gets it across. Kill attempt in the net. And it's uh, 14 to 5. 14 to 5, North Scott by 9. Soy across. Nope. And the bad pass there. And I think the Damport Central coach, Amber Hall, she's a little frustrated. And she's going to let her team know about that during this timeout. 15 5, the score will be right back. Jersey Grill. Come enjoy our full menu of pizza, steaks, seafood, and sandwiches. Enjoy the game on one of our 30 flat screen TVs with Major League Baseball, NFL football, and college sports coverage. Party and banquet rooms are available with catering. Jersey Grill, where great food, families, and sports come together. We're located at 5255 Jersey Ridge Road in Davenport. Give us a call at 563-344-4747. Rookie's Sports Bar and Grill. Rookie's has received numerous Quad City Times Reader's Choice Awards, including Best Pizza and Best Sports Grill. We have 33 TVs with Major League Baseball, NFL, football, and college sports. The best pizza in the Quad Cities is right here at Rookie's. Come tailgate with us today. Rookie's Sports Grill, located at 2818 Brady Street, Davenport. Give us a call at 563-324-2434. The Hair Hut, located on the corner of 2nd and Franklin in Eldridge. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. and Saturday from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. We have a full staff of color specialists and stylists on hand to give you the latest in stylized cuts. We do barber cuts and updos, along with hot neck and facial shaves and facial waxing and much more. Give us a call today at 563-285-4423. Come to Stone's Apple Barn today and you can pick your own apples until they're gone. We carry honey, peaches, pears, cashew crunch, Indian corn, gourds, caramel apples, and fresh cider. We also have hay rack rides on weekends. We are located at 16115 Hubbard Road in East Moline, Illinois. We are open seven days a week from 10 a.m. till 5 p.m. Give us a call at 309-496-2318. Scott will well let's see if they can keep the momentum here as Emily Soy serves it up for the Lancers. 15 5 the score, North Scott by 10. Having to chase that one down. And they just get it across there, Soy does. Blue Devils able to feel it, but Lancers get it back, and there's a violation by the Lancers. 15 to 6. Blue Devils trail by 9 as a substitution. Alyssa Scott in for Allie Hammerlink. Opar serving it up. <coughs> Across, and we have a kill there by number 12. That's Kerry Collinghorse. Abby Curling checking in. And the pint size dynamo for the Lancers. Abby Curling will serve it up. Gets it across. Number two for the Devils, Mackenzie Gillen. Lancers able to keep it in play though, as looked like it was going to go out of bounds. Gillen, and she has a kill. 15 to 7, or 16 to 7, rather. Make that back. I was a little confused by the scoreboard. We have a substitution. Emma O'Connor 
relieving Fangman for the Blue Devils as Kayleen Green serves it up and the long kill attempt and it's 16 to eight. Northcott still up by eight as Green will serve it up for the Blue Devils. Set by Lindemann. Kill attempt there by Meade and we have a net violation. Davenport Central, and it's 17 to eight. Shabillion checks in for Kerry Gollinghorst. As Anna Buffelli will serve it up, gets it across. And the kill attempt into the net. Mackenzie Gillen tried to get it across. Didn't quite get the timing down, and it's 18 to eight. Buffelli. Serves it up. One. Pushed across there by Gilland. And it's on the ground. And uh, it looked like either Soy or Lindemann had the point for Norscott. 19 to 8 the score. Norscott looks like they're in position to win this third game in a runaway as it goes across. It <laughs> just barely lands it in the bounds as it looked like Davenport Central was anticipating it going out of bounds. 28 to score as Buffelli has an ace serve. She'll serve again. Gillen, and that's a kill, yes. That is a kill, 20 to nine. Side out Davenport Central as Gilland will serve it across. Barely stays in bounds there, but Lancers able to get it to Ashley Chabillion, and she has a kill, 21 to nine. Casey Kallenberger, big smile on her face as another big smile on Emily Soy, who comes out. Soy, of course, the uh, sister of Jake Soy, the uh, super stud football player at Northwest Missouri State. North Scott Point there, 22 to nine. Uh, Jake Soy leading Northwest Missouri State to a national championship in Division Two of the NCAA last fall. Kill attempt there by the Blue Devils, Alyssa Scott, and it's on the ground, 22 to 10. North Scott still up by 12. Yeah, Central has a long way to go. If they want to get back into this, Claire Opar checking back in for the Blue Devils. Across, and the serve goes long. Abby Hammerlink will check in as we have a couple substitutions uh, for Norscott as well. Looks like Emily Hermiston just came back in. Aaron Mead will serve it up for the Lancers, 23 to 10. Kill attempt there, and it's on the ground by number 12, Claire Opar. She's been the leader of uh, this uh, Blue Devil team here tonight, I think. and shake this cough here. As Hermiston, oh, barely gets it across. And it it does go across, and it is Norscott's point, and it is game point. Just like that, 24 to 11. As Shabillion uh, will serve it up. Shabillion across. Blue Devils able to field the serve. Nice block there. And all the Blue Devils can do is ping pong it around. And the Lancers win game number three, 25 to 11. And we'll be back with game four after this. Come experience the Bold West Mex flavor of Taco John's. 
Their recipes include hearty helpings of seasoned meats, crispy potato olays, and flavorful cheeses with fresh-made Mexican specialties like burritos, tacos, and quesadillas. And don't forget to join us for breakfast. Whatever you order, you can be sure it's good food made right. Visit us at one of our two locations in Davenport on West Locust Street and West Kimberly Road just inside of North Park Mall. Come see us at the Tea Garden Pet Salon and School for all of your pet grooming needs. Also ask about enrollment in our in-house grooming school. We are open Monday through Saturday from 7.30 a.m. till 4 p.m. Come see us at 2367 Cumberland Square in Bettendorf, Iowa, or give us a call at 563-359-PETS. Nickel Berry's Pizza, located in Eldridge, Iowa, is a locally owned and operated business that has proudly served the North Scott community for over 17 years. We are committed to serving you the best possible product at the best possible price. So come on down and dine with us today. We look forward to seeing you. Nickel Berry's Pizza, quality taste, located at 1084 East LeClaire Road in Eldridge. Commercial Printers has been your one-stop printing service since 1991. We offer general printing services along with printing banners, signage, and much more. Give us a call today or visit us online at commercialprintersusa.com. Game number four, and North Scott's going to start with the libero serving Anna Buffelli. Lancers playing for third place in the conference. And uh, game number one in a two-game series here as the Blue Devils draw first blood here in this fourth set. Fourth game, rather, Mackenzie Gillen with the kill, I do believe, as it's one nothing Denport Central. Gillen served it up, and a long kill attempt there by the Lancers, and it's two nothing. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, if you remember, North Scott Denport Central will meet in the first round of the uh, Iowa High School. Iowa Girls High School Athletic Union's uh, region, uh, regional in Class 4A. A kill there by Aaron Mead. And we will have a substitution. Casey Kellenberger in for Emily Soy. Two to one the score. Davenport Central up by a point as Lindemann gets it across. Kill attempt goes long, and it's uh, North Scott tying it up at two, and uh, Hannah Lindemann will get it across. And that's a nice kill there by Miss Alyssa Scott for Davenport Central. Three to two the score. Anyway, uh, these two teams again meeting Monday night in the first round of the Iowa Class 4A Regional. This game only meeting placement in the conference as Alyssa Scott's serve goes in the net for Davenport Central. She is relayed by Allie Hammerlink and uh, Emily Hermiston checking in for Abby Curling. Mead to serve it up. Kill attempt there, and it is a kill. Mackenzie Gillen. Four to three. Your score.
as Emma O'Connor serves it for the Blue Devils. Long horse, no. Bounce right back, but Bethali catches it. Mead, a kill attempt there. And it's on the ground. I believe number 10 had the kill, Stephanie Kilmer. Haven't said her name too much tonight. Maybe we'll say it here a little bit more here in the fourth and fifth games here if there's a fifth game. 5-3 the score. And a kill there with authority by number 11, Miss Emily Hermiston. Couple substitutions as Corrine Fangman checks in for Emma O'Connor. And uh, I believe uh, Hermiston checked in. I didn't quite see. It's either Hermiston or Gollinghorst. As that is a kill by Claire Opar. And Anna Buffelio check in for Ashley Shabillion. For the Lancer, 6 4 the score. Davenport Central by two. Again, it depends on how you look at momentum. Both teams have had that. That's a hit that went in the net by the Lancers. It's 7-4. Davenport Central up by three. Oh, couldn't quite time that hit correctly, and it's eight to four. Stephanie Kilmer with your serve. Kilmer gets it across. As a nice kill attempt there, fielded by the Blue Devils. We have a net violation. And it's going to be Davenport, or North Scott rather, with the uh, side out, eight to five, Damport Central. As Soy gets it across. A kill attempt there, but it's fielded by the Lancers. Hermes and no, rejected, and with authority. By Claire Opar and Kayleen Green. And it's Davenport Central taking command here in game number four. Nine to five the score. North Scott trailing by four. As Hermison pushes it across. And uh, credit McKenzie Gillen with that point. And uh, Coach Schuster, or Schubert rather, wants to talk about it. We'll take a timeout ourselves. 10-5 the score, Davenport Central by five. We're in the middle of game number four here. Davenport Central leads 10 to five as Claire Opar for the Blue Devils gets it across. Punches across does number 11, Emily Hermiston. Uh, a nice block there at the net. Not letting that ball get across. Uh, Carrie Gollinghorst, you can credit with that point as Abby Curling will check in. Curling across, and that's going to sail out of bounds. And you can call that an ace serve, 10 to 7. Central's lead has been cut to three. Anyway, you heard me calling uh, the North Sky coach, Amy Schubert, by her maiden name, Schuster. So that is my bad. Of course, Volleyball fans up in Dubuque will remember that name as uh, Amy Schubert. North Scott gets the point there, 10 to 8. Anyway, she was a uh, force to be reckoned with on the uh, Dubuque Waller courts. Lancers get a kill there. And it looks like you're going to credit Hannah Lindemann. Or Emily Sawyer at that point, curling back with the ball. 10 9, North Scott is within one. Curling, oh, barely gets it across. 
Fielded by the Devils. Set by Lindemann across. And uh, we get it across here by the Blue Devils. A kill attempt there by Mead, but fielded by the Blue Devils. Scott gets it across for the Devils. Lindemann pushed it across. Curling chasing it down. The libero uh, Buffelli gets it over to Lindemann. And an extended volley there. And it's finally blocked there at the net. It took a while to get that point. Kerry Gollinghorse doing the blocking at the net. And it's tied at 10. Curling across. And a kill from the uh, back row there, attempted by Kilmer across. And a block there at the net by Alyssa Scott, as the Lancers couldn't connect on that kill attempt. And uh, we have side out, Davenport Central. Emma O'Connor checking in to uh, relieve Corrine Fangman. And Green served it up. Hit right back at the Lancers. One, two, no, we have a violation to Port Central. And it's going to be Lancers ball. It's tied at 11. And Anna Buffelli will serve it up. Ashley Shabillion check back in. Kill attempt there, no. Fielded by the Lancers. And it's on the ground on the Lancers' side of the court. And it's 12-11, Davenport Central. Mackenzie Gillen to serve it up. Gets it across. And that's a kill with a, no. Oh, I don't know about that call. Looked like Ashley Shabillion had his, kill, but it must have landed just out of bounds. These plays happen so fast, so you can't fall in any official judgments there. It was the Blue Devils point as Soy gets it across. Lindemann over to uh, Shabillion, and that is a North Scott point. Shabillion repenting and uh, Soy comes out, Kellenberger comes in. And Little Hand and Lindemann will serve it up. 13 12, Blue Devils by one, and the uh, serve goes long. And it's 14 to 12. Alyssa Scott will serve it up. Scott gets it across, and that goes long. So both teams trade long serves. It's 14 to 13. As Kerry Keelan checks in for Abby Curling, and I believe we saw Allie Hammerling come in. Lancers like the fact that Kerry Keelan is in the game. Of course, Keelan is a senior, the Lancers lone senior. Yes, yeah, Slenderman sets it up. Kill attempt there. And it's blocked out of bounds by way of Central. And the uh, Lancers will uh, have control of the ball. Aaron Mead, it's tied at 14. Gets it across, O'Connor fields it. Pushed across there by number 20, Kayleen Green. And we have a net violation. And it's 15 to 14. This game is nip and tuck all the way here. Again, this could be a preview of the first round of the Class 4A Regional Tournament as Central gets a point on that play, 16 to 14. 
Emma O'Connor doing the serving for the Blue Devils. Soy over to Meade. And uh, Keelan gets it across. And a nice block set up there by Shabillion and Kellenberger as uh, Kerry Gollinghorst checks in uh, for the Lancers. Corrine Fangman for the Blue Devils. Shabillion serves it up. Fielded by the Devils. Kill attempt there. No. Blocked at the net. Kellenberger and uh, Gollinghorst. And uh, Davenport Central wants to talk things over. It's a tie game, 16 to 16, and we will be right back. As a football player, I was crushed when a high school injury nearly took me out of the game forever. I knew I wanted football to be my life, and I had to do everything possible to make it happen. The solution for me was Plaza Physical Therapy. Now I've gone on to play football at the college level and even won two bowl games. Thanks to Plaza Physical Therapy, giving me a second chance at the sport I love. Plaza Physical Therapy Davenport and North Scott Physical Therapy Eldridge. Shade Master Nursery, your first choice for trees, shrubs, flowers, mulch, bagged soils, and bedding plants. Large trees in ground available for late fall planting. We have a large selection of trees including red maples, birch, crab apples, oaks, evergreens, locusts, lindens, red buds, and sugar maples. Christmas trees and wreaths will be arriving in November. We are located in Davenport at 4401 West 90th Street. Give us a call at 563-391-4510. Okay, North Scott and Davenport Central are tied. North Scott has the serve. Ashley Sabillion gets it across. And Blue Devils respond to a kill attempt there, and that is Kerry Keelan with the point. Keelan the senior. 17 to 16. North Scott is leading. First time uh, since the early stages. Of this fourth game, as Shabillion gets it across, the Devils respond as uh, Kilmer gets it across for the Devils. Kallenberger with the kill, no. Fielded by Gilland, pushed across there by Green for the Devils. And across Keelan, no, out of bounds, just barely. But a nice placement attempt there as Anna Buffelli checks in. And Kilmer, Stephanie Kilmer will serve it up. Gets it across Buffelli. Set by uh, Lindemann and Kellenberger with the kill attempt there. Pushed across there. And uh, that is a kill by Claire Opar. 17 to 18. Just like that, North Scott goes from leading by one to trailing by one. Wait a minute, let's see what's going on here. We have a substitution violation maybe, I don't know. Looks like the uh, floor official uh, checking over his uh, lineup card and he apparently thinks everything's okay. He's And uh, Coach Schubert for the Lancers, uh, Kind of nodding approvingly, and she's encouraging her team. Blue Devils with the serve here. Stephanie Kilmer gets it across. Set by Lindemann. Kill attempt there by Falling Horse, but it's blocked and it killed right back there. Kayleen Green, 19-17. Davenport Central by two as Kilmer gets it across. Fielded by Keelan of the Lancers. Keelan with a kill attempt there. Nope. As Fangman tried to field it, and it went out of bounds. 19 to 18. North Scott trailing by one as Emily Soy comes in to relieve her classmate, 
and teammate Casey Kallenberger. Both are sophomores. And a powerful kill attempt there. Nice job there by Claire Opar. He's off a Lancer hand. And it is 22-18. Alyssa Scott checks in. Opard gets it across for the Devils. Soy, or no, Keelan got it across for the Lancers, rather. So, uh, try there, and nice point by Hannah Lindemann on the dink. 20 to 19. North Scott not going away in this fourth game. As uh, Abby Curling checks in for the Lancers, for the Devils, it was Kayla Holtz, the libero. As Curling serves it up, 20 to 19, Central by one. Scott from the back row, or front rather, gets a uh, nice block. And uh, no, we have a net violation, I guess. Well, just the same, but it's North Scott's point. It's tied at 20. North Scott determined to finish this thing off here in four sets. Central wants to extend it to game five as Curling got it across. Powerful kill attempt there by number 20, Kayleen Green. And Emma O'Connor will check in 21 20. Say that again 21 to 20. North Scott trails by one as Kayleen Green served it up. Kill attempt there, nope. Oh, nice somersault move there, but the ball went in the net on the Lancer side. 22 to 20, Central, as I said, they want to go to a game five. Oh, no, that's, you can't have that. Just not good anticipation. 23-20. Amy Schubert takes a timeout for her team, and we'll take a timeout ourselves. Okay, North Scott trailing by three as Denport Central serves it. Here we go, kill attempt there, no. Net violation, and Denport Central has a game point. 24-20, Kayleen Green. Gets it across. Lindemann over to Mead. She gets the kill. The Lancers stay alive. That's happened every game. As uh, there's been a game point and the opposing team has uh, kept the uh, game alive here. No. Lindemann sets it up. Mead, no, out of bounds. No, it's just on the ground there on the Devil's side and North Scott. Scores another point, 24-22. And Downport Central's gonna take a quick timeout. Okay, exciting way here to in this fourth game here, no matter how it comes out, is uh, Anna Buffelli serving it up for the Lancers. Fielded by Kilmer. Kill attempt, no. Buffelli takes it. Across Meade. Set up there. Kill attempt, uh, no. Able to get it across here. It's a nice, exciting rally here. And I guess you're gonna credit Ashley Shabillion. It's 24-23, North Scott within one. 24-23 Central leading as Buffelli will serve it for the Lancers across. Fielded by Kilmer. Kill attempt there, no. Across and oh, just out of bounds. The kill attempt lands. And Davenport Central escaping with a game four victory, 25-23.
It's going to come down to a game number five. We'll be right back. Come check out the scariest haunted house in the Quad Cities. The Haunted Grandstand at the Mississippi Valley Fairgrounds. $12 to get in or bring in a flyer and get $1 off. Fridays and Saturdays from 7 p.m. until midnight and Sundays from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. The Haunted Grandstand brought to you by Halloween Express and Happy Joe's. Hop on in to the Lucky Frog in McCausland. Stop in for nightly specials or to order from a complete menu of appetizers, specialty pizzas, wings, sandwiches, and much more. The Lucky Frog offers carryout orders and deliveries in northern Scott County. We're located at 313 North Salina Street in McCausland. Give us a call today at 563-225-FROG. That's 563-225-3764. Well, it's come down to this. Game five. Both teams, as I was attempting to say before we got cut off, are tied at two games apiece. North Scott winning game number one, 25-18, and they will serve first here in this fifth and deciding matchup. It'll only go to 15. Buffelli got her across, and we have an extended rally to start here as Kilmer. Passes over to Gillen, gets it across. Buffelli sets it up over to Shabillion. Nope. A dink by Gillen and Davenport Central drawing first blood here in this fifth game. Anyway, as I was trying to say, 25 18, that was the score of the first game. North Scott won it. And then Davenport Central came back and won game two, 25 22. North Scott was in full control as uh, right there you saw a kill with authority by Ashley Shabillion. It's tied at one. Anyway, game three, North Scott led all the way and uh, took an easy 25-11. Game three victory went up two to one, but Central came back, nip and tuck, it came down to down the stretch as Central gets that point. Looks like either the libero or number seven, libero being Kayla Holtz, seven being Alyssa Scott, in on the point. Uh, we have a substitution. Looks like Allie Hammerlink. She's going to come in and serve for the first time tonight. Anyway, game four went to Davenport Central, 23-25, or 25-23. That's how we got here as Hammerling's serve got across. Kellenberger, nope, block at the net. Davenport Central, 3-1. Central, leading by two. As Hammerling gets it across, fielded by Curling. Connor sets it up, and uh, Lancers get her across, and. There's a kill with authority by Claire Opar. And we're going to take an early timeout here. Four to one, Davenport Central by three. We'll be right back. Hammerling coming off the bench and scoring the first, last three points here. She gets it across. Four to one, Central as Buffelli. Punch the cross, set. A sir, kill attempt there by Emma O'Connor, and it's on the ground. Five to one. Five to one. Central as uh, uh, Lee Hammerlink gets it across, killed it there, and it goes out of bounds. And it looks like Norris Scott able to keep pace in the uh, first four games or be in firm command, but things now starting to fall apart for the Lancers. Here late as Hammerlink gets it across. Buffelli fields it across Meade. And there's a kill 
by number 13, Ashley Sebillion. Emily Hermison checks in, relieves Curling. Abby Curling takes the seat on the bench. Six to two, Davenport Central. It's like Aaron Mead served it up. Pushed across there by Kayleen Green. And a kill there, no. Central able to keep it in play. Oh, wow. And the Lancers keep it in play. Wow, some rag tape play here as Lindemann, no, and it's blocked, but North Scott still able to keep it in play. And I can't hardly keep up here. I know that didn't make grammatical sense. It's Lindemann, and oh, finally, Lancer's point is Kellenberger was going for a kill, and Opar and Green for the Blue Devils, setting up for the block. It went out of bounds off their hands. Six to three, a hard-earned point for the Lancers. Kellenberger across, no, fielded by the Devils. Lindemann set it up. Oh, almost a kill with the Tory, but Devils fielded. A net violation as Kilmer was going for the kill for the Blue Devils. It's seven to three. The Blue Devils just about halfway to a victory here. <laughs> Game five victory. Connor gets it across the serving. Across by Opar. Shabillion across for the Lancers. Puts across Green. And a kill with authority there by Emily Hermiston. Checking in, Gary Gollinghorst for the Lancers, for the Blue Devils. It is Corrine Fangman. As Ashley Shabillion. We'll get her across. It looks like it's set up there for Claire Opar, but a block at the net there. Emily Soy and no, take that back. She's out of the game. Carrie Gonghorse and Casey Kellenberger. A call that Davenport Central fans seem not to like too well. Seven to five to score. Davenport Central leading by two as Ashley Sabillion gets it across, fielded by Fangman. And we have a net violation. Substitution. Buffelli for the Lancers as it is eight to five, Davenport Central. And Stephanie Kilmer will get it across on the serve. Kill attempt there, and it's good. Emily Hermiston. Emily Soy checks in. Replaces Kellenberger. Soy back to serve. Eight to five the score, no. Serve bounces off the top of the net and falls on the Lancer side of the court. Alyssa Scott checks in. Relieves Allie Hammerlink. Boy, this is an exciting game here. Claire Opar serves for the Devils. Across by Gollinghorse, but the Devils keep control of it. Across, punched across. And it looked like uh, the point there goes to the Lancers, Carrie Gollinghorse. 9-7 the score. Davenport Central up by two is Abby Curling. We'll serve it up. It's it across. Blue Devils have to chase it down, but Holtz tries to get it across, serves it in, or punches it in the net, rather. It's 9-8. North Scott within one. And oh, we're going to take a little time to 
relax here as uh, Amber Hall calls timeout for the Blue Devils. We'll be right back. All right, we're ready as uh, Abby Curling will serve it up, gets it across, and a kill almost with Story. No, fielded by the Devils. Soy over to Lindemann. No, punched across there by the Devils. Lindemann. And a kill by Aaron Mead. Had to think about it there for a second there. And it is tied at nine. Boy, this is a game that's going to come down to the final point, I have a feeling. As curling across. And Thangman takes the serve reception there. Another kill there by Aaron Mead. Ten to nine. The Lancers are in the lead. Woo. Curling will serve it up. You can tell both teams want this. And it goes out of bounds there, the uh, passing error. Boy, that could be costly. And uh, Coach Hall for the Blue Devils wants to talk about it one last time. We will be right back. 11 to 9 to score. So uh, this is where it comes down to here. 11 9 your score. North Scott up by two. Abby curling with the serve. Both teams really wanting this game five here as Scott gets it across for the Blue Devils, but Buffelli pushed it across. Gillen, and it goes out of bounds, and it's North Scott's point. Wow, I thought that was gonna land on the Lancer side of the court there. But how close all these balls have landed. 12 to nine to score as the serve goes long. And it is Davenport Central with the ball. And the side out. Kayleen Green, as we did see a substitution, Emma O'Connor set up there. Mead, nope, field it, and it lands on the Lancer side, or Blue Devil side of the court, rather. Aaron Mead, you can credit with the point there, as the Blue Devils not able to pass it up, uh, control the pass, but Feli will serve it up. She could serve up a winner here in two points, 13 to 10 to score. O'Connor, nice top block by Chameleon, and Lindemann, it's game point, 14 to 10. As Feli will serve it up for the Lancers. Here we go. Gillen, no. Taken by Lindemann. O'Connor for the Devils. Lindemann, Buffelli in the net. Oh my. He thought she was going to have the game winner there, but the Blue Devils catch a break. 14-11 to score. McGillen across. That's just Gillen, excuse me. As Meade stops the kill, and that is the game. And a game five victory. That should get North Scott third in the conference. A 7-2 overall record. Is Erin Mead? We're going to give her player of the game honors. Taco John, player of the game. Woo! Game five goes to North Scott. What an exciting finish back and forth all night long. North Scott winning <coughs> games one and three, Blue Devils two and four to set up this incredibly exciting game five. Wow! Wow! I have never seen exciting uh, volleyball here in the pit like this. Wow. Well, I'm glad you watched. We want to thank Frank Wood, the athletic director here at Norscott, for allowing us to tape all these volleyball games all season long. And uh, his fine staff, credit Kathy Washam. Of course, credit 
uh, the Norscott coaching staff, uh, Coach Amy Schubert, and uh, credit to Davenport Central too. They have a great team, and uh, it, that shows why they're one of the top teams year in and year out. But Norscott winning in five sets here tonight. And we want to thank one more person, and that's Jess Medina, uh, who does all the camera work here for Family Ties Productions. So that's going to do it here from the pit at Norscott High School. Brian Ratchin signing off, Family Ties Production. This has been, and we will talk to you again uh, as the postseason awaits. Good night, everybody.